Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a flower with a bow. Um, and it's only going to take three balloons. This is one of our items off the menu, so make sure you know it. Make sure you practice it. Um, we'll send you guys the times of what you guys want to reach. First off, you're going to blow up the green one, which is going to be the stem. Uh, about three quarters. Seven pumps. Uh, you're going to and you're going to do three loop twists and kind of pull the knot as you're twisting. And do that three times. Kind of give it a couple extra twists just so it's locking in place. So there's your stem. And you have a little bit of a nub left. You're going to tuck that under your armpit. blow up your flower part. Uh, probably about halfway, maybe four, four pumps. Uh, then you're going to do three pinch twists to start off. So again, you're going to hold the, the, the tie knot and you're going to pinch twist that together. So you have a single pinch twist at the end of a balloon. You're going to do a couple more of those. And what I do is I hold this with my thumb and fold it like that and pinch twist. And do one more, same way, holding two pinch twists already with my thumb. Do a third pinch twist. I like to give it an extra twist just to make sure it's locked in place. And I have all the three pinch twists kind of vertical. Oh, pop it. Uh, Start over, or just see how bad the pop is. If the pop's not bad. You can start. You can add another pinch twist in there. Now you're going to do a medium bubble. And you're going to twist it into the petals of your flower. So it's like that. Then you're going to go right back up the same way. Twist it into your pinch twist. Then you're going to come right back down the same amount. So now you're left with almost like a tulip looking flower. With this extra part, you're going to stretch it out and soften it so it's smaller. Then, uh, so the diameter is a little smaller than these other ones. So tuck this into the middle. Wrap it around the pinch twist. Right back into uh, the same part where you started. All right, pop that off. Tie it. You pretty much have your rows set up for you. Now. I'm going to take your bow, blow it up around uh, three quarters is fine, six, seven pumps. You're going to start off with a small to medium bubble. Do one pinch twist. So you have that. And you're going to do two loop twists, relatively small or whatever size you want. Again, medium to small bubble, pinch twist, two loop twists into the pinch twist. So you pretty much have uh, three quarters of your bow. You're going to do one bigger pinch, uh, one bigger loop twist than the other two. That's the one that's actually going to go around the flower. And then you're going to break off what you have left and match it up with the other end of the bow. It'll look like that. And then you're going to use the back bigger loop twist that you made to wrap around the rose. 
And I would leave a little bit of green in between the bow and the flower, just so people can see. And there's your bow and your flower. Three petals. Twist, make sure they're all standing upright. And there we go. Medium to long bubble. To flower. Back up. Back down. Switch this out. Make sure it's the same consistency throughout the whole last part you did. Looks good. Your bow. Halfway, three quarters. Small to medium bubble. Pinch twist. Two small loop twists. One bigger loop twist. This is all going through the same pinch twist. And you're going to measure that one, break that off, and make sure these are the same size. Take the big loop twist that you made, just right through, make sure the face of the rose is facing the same direction as the bow. Make sure there's no little nub at the end here. Pop it off and tie it. Gives it a cleaner look. And you're done.